Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. And in this edition, we're looking at a worrying new law that is coming out in Scotland, uh, the Gender Recognition Bill. This has implications not just for women in Scotland, but for women all across the United Kingdom and possibly further afield. It is in part going to confirm that a man who chooses to become a woman will legally be recognised as a woman and that that law supersedes all rules and regulations regarding, shall we say, gender identity in women's sports. That is to say, where cycling has recently banned male-born competitors, they may be forced to reverse that decision. This cannot possibly be right. This is the ultimate pandering to a small group, and yet millions of women are going to be unfairly treated because of it. But it's a case of the SNP need to get their priorities right. And in the SNP's case, those priorities are the 0.001% of the population that are trans and not the 51% of the population that are women. This is madness and we're going to take a look at it. Right, so before we get into this, I will just say that this is one of those bright ideas by the SNP. Scotland's falling apart, the economy's in the toilet, uh, infrastructure is dying on its feet, the um, unemployment is rising, the drug problem is worst in Europe, if not one of the worst in the world. People are leaving Scotland, you have a falling population because of uh, people coming south, businesses are pulling out, and the SNP are concentrating on giving this tiny, tiny little faction yeah, the ability to destroy women's lives. Nicola Sturgeon needs to really have a long, hard look at herself and work out why she is so rubbish at what she does, when all she does is concentrate on destroying women's rights rather than doing her job, which is to look after Scotland. Because let me tell you this, she has destroyed Scotland. But we shall move on. Uh, former Team GB marathon runner Mario Mucci insists gender recognition reform could have a devastating impact on women's sport and warns athletes will quit in droves because of it. Um, athletes will quit like you've never seen before. Because what is the point of a woman standing there next to a man, you know, say on the 400 metres on the track, you can lose 400 metres. She's worked for four, five, six years training, training, training. She's got a chance of, if she can get in the top, say, top three of this race, she's got a chance of representing her nation. And the bloke on the left of her and the bloke on the right of her go, yeah, sorry, love, we've got this. Boom. But gun goes, whoosh, away they go. They win the race by, I don't know, 20 yards, 30 yards. Why would she bother? Why would any of them bother? And it isn't just athletics. Think rugby. Think of man in a skirt. I mean, still got the big bob and the two boys. But he gets in a ruck. He can break a woman's neck. But it's just sport. It's girl. It's girly sport. It's madness. Anyway, getting into it. Marathon runner Mara Yamuchi, who competed for Team GB in the 2008 and 2012 Olympic Games, fears that the Gender Recognition Reform Scotland Bill, which aims to make it quicker and easier for individuals to change sex with no requirement for medical reports or evidence, will render it impossible to maintain single-sex sports categories. On Tuesday, Hollywood's Human Rights and Civil Justice Committee heard two senior male executives of sports organisations, funded or part-funded by the Scottish Government, argue that the bill would not significantly impact on sport. Well, not on their sport, they're men. Yamuchi said she would be willing to testify to the committee that the bill would make women's sport unfair, unsafe and unattractive to competitors. It would, it would, we've covered this. It would be unfair because the two men would, on the running track would just fly off and gone. And it would make it unsafe because as I've said, a man in a rugby team or something could seriously damage or worse a woman uh, and unattractive to competitors because as soon as the women see the men turn up they're just going to go out oh, of this pack up and go 
and who would blame them. These changes, she continued, these changes will make it impossible for sports authorities to enforce single-sex sports, she told Sports Mail. If this bill passes, people will be entitled to change their legal sex by self-declaration. A biological male might turn up at a sports club demanding to participate in female sport and if challenged could show a birth certificate that says female on it so that it becomes impossible for sports bodies, bearing in mind that many of the people involved are volunteers, to enforce sports categories by birth sex. There is a way around it, there's two ways around it, and that is you don't call it women's athletics. You call it athletics for people with double X chromosomes. There you go. You call it the double X games. Or you're the, you know, team, team double X, team 20. There you go. Call it team 20. Uh, and that way, these people who claim to be women, but in fact have prostates and, you know, XY chromosomes, will find it very hard to compete when they uh, are forced to do a blood test and have a rectal examination. Uh, because it will become easier for people to change their sex legally, she said, I think it's reasonable to imagine that the numbers of males demanding inclusion in the female category will increase. And if they accept that the Scottish GRC is valid in the rest of the UK, then the situation I've described could unfold across the UK. So this is the problem they have. This law is a Scottish law and Scotland will in issue a gender recognition certificate that is recognised in Scotland. But will it be recognised in, say, England, Wales or Northern Ireland? It probably be will it would in Wales because they're socialists, that's Labour run, and one only has to look at the state of the NHS in uh, Wales to understand how damaging socialism is. But Northern Ireland, probably not. Um, they're very much more conservative, uh, small c, small c conservative. Uh, and England, well, it depends. If we have a Prime Minister with backbone and the ability to stand up to tiny Scottish bullies, um, then no, it won't. Unfortunately, we don't have one of them and are unlikely to have one of them for quite some time. So it looks like the Scottish issued gender recognition certificate will be legal in Britain, the, in England. And so uh, Scottish men can come down and compete against English women. Not fair at all. Uh, more and more sports bodies will face the challenge of trying to enforce single sex sport and that will be impossible. Uh, sixth in the 2008 Beijing Marathon, um, Yomo Beijing Olympic Marathon, my apologies, Yomochi combined running with a career as a diplomat with the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. And uh, that's her on the left in that picture. The issue of transgender athletes crosses to the mainstream when trans swimmer Leah Thomas broke numerous records in the National Collegiate Athletic Association's champions in Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, he did. He, uh, he took the podium. He took a woman's place. He took a woman's medal. And that was quite wrong of him. Transgender cyclist Emily Bridges has been prevented from competing in the female category because he's a man for after guidance from the Sports Council Equality Group advised that for many sports, the inclusion of transgender people, fairness and safety cannot coexist in a single competitive model. You can't have a man on a bike racing women on a bike. The man on the bike will win. Yamuchi said it is really devastating for women's sport. Every male who competes in a female category potentially affects thousands of female athletes. I did a list of the exclusions that occurred when Leah Thompson swam in three events in the Ivy League Championship and won them all. They included three women who finished second instead of first, three who finished third instead of second, three who missed out on the medal podium altogether, and the women who finished ninth in the heats and missed out on the A final, women who finished 17th in the heats, excluded from the B final, and so on. Many young girls will be thinking, blimey, is this coming to my club? What's the point of me training if it is? And they're right. One only has to look at that man as he stands there uh, wearing a lady swimsuit, pretending to be a lady, uh, and then beating all the ladies with his big, muscly, manly body. I personally know of cases of females being excluded from medals. A group of females right now are self-excluding from competitions and considering self-excluding from their sport altogether because of a male in their local area. I am quite certain this is putting a lot of females off and they will just leave the sport in droves. And when the organiser of these sports are sitting there looking around the hall on a you know, Tuesday night 
where it's supposed to be a series of you know short games all for the women and there's two blokes you know standing there big beards pot bellies one in a skirt you know one in a frock smoking a pipe call himself joe you know julie uh there we go well where is everybody where's all the ladies we're ladies yeah yeah where's all the real ladies yeah huh. anyway uh malcolm dingwall smith a senior manager with sport scotland and hugh torrance executive De uh, director at leap leadership equality and active participation the moment you see equality in the name of an organization you know it's socialist left-wing and agenda driven don't you um gave evidence at Holyrood on tuesday on transgender inclusion in sport london based Shimucci, who was irked by what she insisted was a lack of counter argument said it's essential to make the point and this is critical that people like myself are absolutely not calling for trans people to be banned from sport we athletes all know the mental and physical benefits of sport and through our work we encourage everybody to be in sport but this is a question of categories. My view is that people who are born male must compete in the male category. If they go in the female category, that's unfair and unsafe for female athletes. And she is completely 100% right. And there's that Emily man riding his bike. Um, and I'll come up and we will round this off and I'll draw a conclusion here. Yeah, so there you have it. I mean, she's completely correct. Uh, this will damage women's sports. Um, it's unfair to have a man in a field of sport and regardless of what that field is it could be track and field uh, it could be swimming it could be ball sports rugby football um, it could be god help us boxing it's unfair on the women because the men have the physicality it's dangerous i mean dangerous to the point of life-threatening it's also massively dissuading women from ever taking off or continuing the sport and that will reduce women's health generally across the nation. So this is the SNP policy. They want division. They want to damage women. They want to make women's well-being worse. And they want to pander to a tiny, tiny minority. And in doing so, they think they're going to be on a vote winner. Well, let's see. They're going to lose 51% of the women's. Well, 51% of the vote who are women. They're going to lose the vote of all the men who thinks this is madness. So that's another 48.9% of the population. Of the 0.1% of the population that's left, that's going to be the trans and the supporters of the trans. But even then, not all the trans are going to think it's a good idea. Because not all the trans will think, actually, having a man play women's sport is great. So there's going to be 11 people across the whole of Scotland that are going to vote for Nicole, Nicola at the next election. And I hope it was worth it, love, because you are going to damage women beyond measure. But hey, that's your policy. That's what you want. So good luck with that. And good luck at the next election. You cretin. Anyway, if you like what you see in here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like. Leave a comment and until next time, stay safe, stay well and goodbye.